Okay, so now let's talk about a simple operation but a very useful one in C called typedef. Typedef is used to create synonyms for data types. It's pretty much like renaming or giving a different name to a particular data type. I can say typedef int number. So now instead of declaring variable int a int b, I can also use number a number b. It's simple. So I'm just giving another name. Int is a keyword. I can use int to declare integers. At the same time now, if I say type dev int number, I can also use number as a data type. Similarly, as the example shown here, you have type def cast star as string. So automatically, if I want to declare a variable str1, which is going to be of the type cast star, instead of using cast star, I can use the word string. But type defs are most popularly used for structures. This is because if you've noticed, let's look at our program again, where we've used structures a lot. Every time you want to declare a structure variable, we have structure of the type node, we have struct node. And every time we needed a variable like temp or ptr, we had to always repeat the keyword struct. We had to say struct node star temp, struct node star ptr. So it becomes kind of long. So what people generally do is use a type def and rename or give another name to struct node as something else. So we're going to say type def struct node as node. You can see the difference. Right now I'm calling it capital node, so I know it's a type def. Now instead of calling struct node, I directly say node because node also means struct node. So everywhere I can just say node. Even here too. Size of node. Let's modify all of this. We don't have any more struct nodes. Let's compile this. No errors or warnings. Let's run it. There, it works fine. We haven't modified the algorithm or we haven't changed the code really. So it should work as usual. You can insert a number. You display it, you'll see it. And if you delete, delete 12, delete again, delete 34, display, it won't display anything, you can quit.